So do a look at two five 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 versus center cases, which are not so obvious solutions. And the first one we'll look at is this case. This case requires seven or eight moves to solve if we restrict ourselves to R and the moves. So from this angle or this angle, there's no need to AUF the start. And so these two angles will require seven moves. These two angles will require eight moves. So for this case, we do we, for both of these cases, we bring down this x center to the bottom first, and then after that, we can join it up with this partial bar and then insert it in three moves. For this angle, we do this, so this brought to the bottom, and then we insert the bar in three more moves. So this is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven moves. For this angle, it's the same thing. Bring this x center to the bottom first, then AUF, insert. Again, a total of seven moves. However, there's also another angle where we can do a short solution, and that's this angle. And for this one, we cannot just use R and U moves, but we we'll also have to use a L white move. So if you use Yao, um, you can't really use this L because it's not that useful. And the solution is don't use Yao on five 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 and up. So here is instead of using these three pieces to form the final bar, we'll use this piece, this piece, and this piece to form the right bar, and these two pieces and this one, this x center to form the left bar. So it goes like this L prime, R U R prime, U prime, and then finally align again. So this takes a total of six moves, as I said earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for this angle, we can either AUF to this one and do the 6 move out, or AUF here and do the 7 move out. This case is just not as good. Yeah. So here's another case which a, a lot of beginners might struggle with. So the correct solution for ru 2 gen is we pair up these two pieces first, then after that we join it up with this one and it's at the same time. So again it's R U something R U R U something and then followed by R prime, followed by another AUF and then another trigger. So it's a total of seven moves. And for this case, only this angle can be done in seven moves R U to J. For the other three angles, they'll require more moves if we restrict ourselves to only using R Y and U moves. So for this one, pair up, AUF, insert. And again, there's also a non 2 gen solution which is shorter. And this case is probably a bit better than this one. So for this one, we start with this angle 3R, U prime, R prime, then either U or U prime and we align the slice. So again, here we'll be using these two pieces and this one to form the middle bar, and these three pieces to form the right bar. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six moves if you include the slicing at the end. But what I find is that if the Master center solution ends in a slice, it's almost always better to just go straight into H pairing. If you do M slice, then there's no need to rotate. If you, if you do E slice, then you just do a Z or a Z prime, whichever you prefer. And this will save two more moves on the last two center. So this is four moves without the realigning compared to six moves without the realigning for the normal two gen out. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, six moves. So yeah, this one is is not exactly two gen, so it's three R U prime R prime, but the only non R U move is a three R white, so that's still not too bad. And if you want, you can also use this on larger cubes like six and seven. But for this case, I don't think it's worth it to use it on 6 and 7 because it requires a regret to do the L moves.